Bonjour les amis, Kirby Jambon encore ici avec vous autres. Today I have a special topic, not just a special topic, a special person I want to remember today and talk about. I'd like to talk about the late, great Richard Guidry. Uh, le défunt Richard Guidry, uh, Richard Guidry, um, passed away about 12 years ago. But before he passed away, Richard uh, contributed uh, just this huge wealth of information and hard work and passion for Louisiana French culture, Cajun culture, Creole culture, for our French language. Uh, he was like a huge dictionary that passed away because his knowledge, he had an immense knowledge of, of the varieties of French and Louisiana French and such a strong activist and, and a, a man who was just an honest man who said the truth the way it needed to be stated. Uh, as some people said, he was a warrior for our culture in a sense, our language. Um, and Richard inspired me and, and many others. Um, to tell you a little bit about Richard, those of you who might not know who Richard Guidry was, um, Richard was born in, in uh, Million Parish in Guédon, and um, he was an educator, and um, he uh, taught in uh, French in uh, St. Martin Parish, and he worked through different programs through the Louisiana uh, Department of Education through Code of Field, and he uh, he's worked with the foreign languages and bilingual education, working with getting uh, French programs, French immersion programs here in the state, um, which greatly influenced all of our um, our culture. He helped to, to he helped to coordinate. We worked together for you know, different uh, activist organizations like Action Cajun, Cajun Action. He he was a co-founder of Théâtre Cajun, he uh, Cajun Theater. He helped to promote who we were as a people, French Louisianians, Cajuns, and Creoles here in South Louisiana. And um, he was. Um, he was an extremely, extremely knowledgeable person. Uh, it was like a huge dictionary, I should say. <laughs> and uh, he was like, he, he knew a, a variety, all about the varieties of French and about Louisiana French, and he was just a strong, strong activist for the French language. Um, he was eventually awarded a Chevalier in the Art de Parme Académique from the French Republic, for, which is awarded for people of outstanding uh, academic work in education, sciences. And uh, so, um, he, he's just an outstanding individual and someone who inspired me. He was a good friend and a mentor. Uh, just to let you know a little about a personal history about Richard and, and myself. Um, before I was really involved in this Louisiana French culture, I was living back in, I was living out in New Orleans and I started to become more interested about what was happening a little further uh, to the west of, of in Louisiana, what was going on in my Louisiana French culture. I would really become interested in that, those concepts of culture. And, um, and the concept of my history and my language. And so one of the ways I began to express my interest and to learn more about it was, of course, I would go listen to Cajun music, dance to Cajun music, uh, go to festivals and listen to Cajun, Creole, and Zydeco music, all that kind of stuff. Of course, that's what we do. <laughs> and uh, I went to this festival in New Orleans at the Audubon Zoo, which was called, uh, I think it was called the Swamp Fest. Uh, listening to great music. I had Les Frères Michaud, um, Zachary Richard, I remember was there. I remember he was there, he was like, Zachary was before he, was, he saw people there and he said, "Okay, come in, come in, on IEC. You know how many Cajuns we have here." And I raised my hand and he pointed out, "Remember that?" And then I went, of course, eat some good food. I went to and so I went to this uh, little food booth that was a Creole stuffed bread. It was my first time ever trying that stuff, and it was like I said, I heard it was good, so I'm gonna go try that. So I went there to try the Creole stuffed bread. And as I'm walking up, this guy, the guy, the fellow working there, the gentleman says, he says, "Richard," looks at me and says, "Richard," I said. No, I'm not Richard. Je suis pas Richard, moi. You know, no, no. Toi, t'es pas Richard? No. Oh, sorry, sir. You look just like this guy, Richard, Richard from Lafayette. He said, oh, really? That's interesting. So, um, a little while later, uh, before I moved to, to, to this region, I was starting to come to the Festival Zacadien in Creole. And so I, went, I had gone there once, and uh, I think once or twice. And, I, and the next time, I went, there was a French teacher who was um, down from, uh, from Canada. Um, uh, her name was uh, Karen Leblanc, and she was from Nova Scotia. And Karen was living with my cousin uh, while she taught down in Lafouche Parish. And, um, and she wanted to go to Festival Zacadien. Yeah, I said, okay, you know, I'll take it. Let's go. So she lay on la bas. We brought her over to the festival. And the Saturday night after the festival was over, she said, well, we're going to go over to this, um, this place. We'll go over to this place. For, uh, this guy, the French teacher, Richard. You must know him. You look just like him. I said, Richard? No, I heard of him, but I don't know who he is. Was, uh, so she took me to this uh to his house of Saturday night. So one of my first experiences um, going to a house in, in around the area was going to Richard's house and he cooked this, uh, I think he made some beans for us or something. He cooked us a good meal and we had a nice a visit with him. 
and I got to know him, and so much so that I, I began to call him uh, mon gros frère or mon grand frère, you know, my big brother, because uh, he was a little older than myself, but we kind of had these similar kind of looks, you know, um, you know, we had curly hair and he had more of a full beard, and uh, we both began to get a little gray. But I was, you know, I yeah, wore glasses for a time period too. So, so, but um, a little interesting story about Rishad. Rishad was a uh, was always a, you know. A supporter of mine. He was uh, he was there any, any, at with any time anything I needed anything. But Rishad was there. I'm sorry, little my, my little my little boy right here just wanted to have some attention. My little Ali, um, and he was always there for me. And so um, I remember, um, you know, right before he passed away, he had been in the hospital and we had a benefit for him. And it was like, and he was just so excited. He was so happy about this beautiful benefit. People just came out to support him. He had talked. He had said, "C'était la meilleure journée de sa vie." You know, the best the best day of his life. And um, while we were together, you know, one of the things that would happen to me all the time, uh, wherever I would go, somebody, that wasn't the first time that somebody would tell me, hey, Richard, hey, toi, t'es Richard. Oh, Richard, get you, you Richard? You must be related to Richard. You are rich. You know, I got mistaken for him so many times in my life. It was, it just got to be a, a thing I would say all the time. So while I was at that celebration, while he was for, for Rishad's life, I even got mistaken there. Somebody said, talking, oh, they thought I was Rishad when I was there at the celebration for him, where he was there. And so I asked them, and one of Rishad's that we talked about, Rishad was extremely honest. Rishad was sometimes, um, you know, he, he couldn't lie. I don't think he had, I don't even think he knew how to lie. <laughs> but he also, I, I know the man loved me and he didn't want to hurt my feelings. So I asked him this question, you know. I said, Richard, you know, it happens in my life, ça fait, que, ça fait souvent que le monde, me, le monde me prend pour toi. Et ça arrive pour toi que le monde, le monde te prend pour moi. You know, the, you know, people, you know, people often mistake me, uh, you know, take me for, for you, think I'm you. Uh, it had ever happened where someone came up to you and said, hey, Kirby, Kirby? He said, uh, and of course, as I said, he didn't want to hurt my feelings, but he didn't lie. And he was just like, I, I remember his face. No, Richard, jamais. <laughs> no, it never happens, you know. And so, uh, he was just a wonderful, wonderful fellow. A wonderful sense of humor. I loved laughing with him. He had a big, big laugh. Uh, and uh, just a wonderful person. And so, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Richard today. I also wanted to talk about some publications about Richard. I mentioned some in one of my videos. I read, in two of the videos, we read from uh, Bepur Bayou, which is which is credited as Richard as author. It was his, his basic framework of the book, an idea of the book that... We, his friends, together with um, together with uh, Bouton d'Or d'Acadie, uh, together put together this uh, this great uh, dictionary with beautiful illustrations by by Richard Roy. And um, Bay pour Bayou is a is an abecedaire and ABC dictionary uh, with beautiful images and pictures. And in here, there's actually an image which um, you can see, which is uh, based upon. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have got it ahead of time, but I'll get it for you. An image which is based upon. Uh, Richard Guidry, so you can get a little idea of Richard Guidry, a little picture based upon him there. That's him uh, uh, with the, with, avec les vaches, you know. So, um, and so we help to fill in uh, missing areas and m flesh out this book, but um, it is it is basically totally inspired by Richard and the framework is from, and I highly recommend it. Uh, you can check out my two videos where I read the, the book in two different, I read the first half and then the second half. I wrote a couple of parts of it, and also one of the things I was most proud of, I wrote à la mémoire de Richard Guidry, uh, Le Gros Cajun. I wrote that, uh, this poem, as a kind of a preface for the book, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, a great, great book that uh, I recommend is this book here, C'est plus pare, C'est plus pare, uh, it's from the Edition de la Nouvelle Acadie, and it's, it's these little vignettes, little... Um, little monologues, I could say, that, that have been acted out by, Théâtre Cajun has acted out some of them as well. Uh, probably the, um, the one he's more often, uh, probably the most famous is the one, is this one here called uh, Hallo, Vraiment's Fine and Y'all. It talks about the, 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 vraiment, you know, the situation between uh, what happened with Louisiana French and Louis in uh, a mixed this uh, English, uh, English American world, you know. So there's a lot of uh, great ones in here. I, I, there's a video I think you might even find online with him doing uh, one. I think it's the um, I think it's the one where he plays the Catars uh, uh, 1414, where he talks about the oil industry, which is another part of our reality. So I highly recommend this book. C'est uh, plus You can I'm sure you can probably get it online somewhere, but look for it as well. Um, a couple of other things I want to point out. This is a great uh, book, and I, I think I, I don't. I, I've see, I think we have, there's a better copy now. This is an older copy, which it was not in color. Uh, it was just done like this illustrations here. But it's called Le Pont de Nez Piquet. 
And I, I'd use it with my students, uh, my, my fifth grade French immersion students as a lesson, uh, because it's a great lesson in Louisiana French and, and French in general. And it's also a great lesson in cultural acceptance and uh, the environment. And it's uh, Le Pont de l'Epique. And so it's a great, great, um, the, the, um, it's the bridge of the uh, Bayou Nipique community. And uh, it's a great, great story where you can learn about all kinds of terms. It has a glossary and has le ideas for lessons back because he was an educator. So a great, great thing. But he published so many things. I, I could probably find all kinds of little things here. I found this the other day, uh, La Cuisine franco louisianaise Glossaire. He, he, this is like a little book he had published. I think it's probably for many French teachers coming from out of uh, uh, Louisiana, out of the country. Uh, here to Louisiana to learn about the um, the different things we have to eat here in Louisiana, you know. So, uh, you know, so like for example, uh, les, you have les fèves et les haricots, you know. So, <laughs> which is something I, I love too. Beans, I love to eat beans, you know. And so, um, all kind of different uh, items in here. So, he's got a lot of different things. So, if you see anything by Richard Guidry, Richard Guidry, I encourage you to read it to learn more about him and uh, to, to appreciate what he has done for us here in Louisiana. Also, if you'd like to really appreciate it more, I, I recommend that you look into, uh, I recommend you look into the uh, Richard Guidry uh, Foundation, uh, Community Foundation. Um, the official name is called the Richard Guidry Cajun and Creole Language Fund. And uh, it's, um, it's a fund uh, in his honor. Um, and it's established to support projects and initiatives that encourage, increase, and improve the use of the multiple varieties of French in Louisiana, especially their spoken use in public, in the arts, and in education. So there's all kind of different uh, ways you can do that. You can apply for a grant and you can donate to it. So I recommend you look up that as well. So uh, for my uh, for my uh, grand frère, my big brother, uh, le, le Charles Défin, Richard Guidry, uh, I hope you have a, a nice day. And uh, je vous souhaite toujours um, une bonne journée. Je vous souhaite aussi que, que vous, vous autres, Soignez-vous autres et soignez les autres et on va se voir à la prochaine. Au revoir.